going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I've got an awesome trick for you. Uh, this is commonly known as the Chicago opener or um, the best card trick in the world as some people call it. And um, some people call it the hot mama, um, but I personally never called it that. So um, anyhow, let's go ahead and get into the trick. But first I just want to say thank you for 79 subscribers. That's a really big number and it's a really awesome number. Um, so yeah, if you're one of the 79 and especially if you've been there from the very start of the channel, um, that's super awesome. Thank you so much. And, um, we also, um, I just want to say, by the time this video comes out, we'll probably have more. Um, but, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome if you could. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the trick. So, what I'm going to go ahead and have you do is I'm just going to have you just touch your card, alright? Um, so let's say you touch this card right here, alright? This card right here pulls out of the pack right here. And, um, I'm not going to see it. But you're going to see it, alright? I hope you can see it right here. Got it, alright? I'm not looking. Look. Alright, look. It goes on top. We cut it into the deck, just like that. Now watch. Shh, watch this. Look. If we spread over the cards, you'll see one blue card right here, alright? One blue card has popped out of the deck. Now, well, not popped, but I've chosen the one blue card in the deck, alright? Now let's go ahead and see what card it is. I think it's none other than your card the five of clubs so um, that's not the whole trick because I'll actually show you we'll put the five there and um, I'm gonna go ahead and give the deck just a quick shuffle just like this alright just a quick shuffle alright nice and easy alright so I want you to see that all the cards are mixed up alright there is no order to this pack okay all the cards are mixed up now watch this I want you to go ahead and just tell me when to stop Let's say you said stop right here. Are you sure? Alright, so this is your card. Got it? Alright. Now, let's go ahead and look at the card. I'm going to look at it. It's the two of spades. Alright, one card, not a gimmick. Now, freely selected goes into the pack. I'll show you. Actually, I put one two of spades in here. That was blue. Before the trick, I just really well concealed it. And look, as you can see, it now reveals itself. Right, um, hold on, hold on a second, um, you know, I think, well, I know one card has changed, but I thought I, oh, that's right, I did put a two of spades in the deck that was blue. I think it just, for a moment, transformed into your card, that's all. I'll show you our blue card from the start. I think I got it, oh, yes. Well, this time, I got it right. Guys, that is the trick. It's called the Chicago Opener. That's what I'm going to go with. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Yes, there's a duplicate involved in this trick. I'm so sorry. Uh, there's a blue and a black, two. Um, that's it. That's all you need. Just, to, you know, if you have, like, a red and a blue deck, you can do that as well. Um, you just need the red, two, and the black, two, or the red, two, and the blue, two, or blue, two, and red, two. Yeah. You just need a two, so watch this. You ready? Look, I have the two right here. I can just transform it into the other two right here. See? It's, oh, wait, never mind. Okay. Well, anyhow, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So, um, you want to have both the blue or the opposite color two of the same type of card and then a black card. Or not a black card, but just the normal card. And that's, this is, there's no dupe, there's no two black cards. It's just one, um, it's just the black card and then the, um, other two. So, you take the two from this black deck, put it on the bottom. Then you take the other blue two, the other two, put that on the bottom as well. So you have, your setup is going to look like this. So you have the black two um, on top of the blue two, which is on the bottom. Alright? Now you can go ahead and spread out the cards, making sure not to reveal this um, blue two right here. Alright? You want to make sure that is hidden. You spread out the cards, do it very briefly, don't bring attention to it. Alright? Then you can even do, like, I don't know, you could do some sort of false cut. Um, that's actually... <laughs> that's really funny. Um, a lot of people fall for it when you cut the deck like this. They think you're taking packets off the top when really you're just taking it off the bottom. You're not doing anything, which is really funny. I've done that to multiple people and it works. But all right, back to the trick. So you got the two and the two on the bottom. Show them. Um, just spread through the cards. Show them that they're all the same. Then you can spread through the backs, making sure not to reveal, and have them choose a card. Free selection. Bang right here. All right. Square up the cards. Let's look at the card for tutorial purposes is the five of spades. Now, this five of spades goes on top of the deck. No funky moves here. You're going to cut the deck just like this. Now, remember, this is the two of spades right here, all right? goes on top of that five right there. When you spread through the cards, you show that one card 
as turned blue, you spread over the packet above the two and bring it to the side. So look, the other two is right here, the black two is right there. Alright, and then you square out the packet with the red two right here, and then their card, the five right there. And then you're going to put this packet on top of the other packet. So this is your setup. You've got the black two right here, and then you've got the red two right here with the five, alright? So the two and the five are on top, just like that. You're going to do a really easy move. It's called the double lift, alright? I did in the performance. Um, I think I may have flashed. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, but, um, you, you know, you just need to know that move. We have taught it on the channel. Um, I do believe in the basics of card match. There'll probably be, like, some sort of link, like, in this corner over here. Probably some other corner. I don't know. But, um, okay. So, you got the two, alright? You do your double lift, alright? Just like this, alright? That you reveal the five as the blue card, okay? Flip that back over and put the two down. So you just put the two down. Now, you can do a Hindu shuffle control, which looks like this, telling you to stop. So you said stop right here. Look, two spades. Alright, that control does work, but I feel like it's a little bit too obvious. So I like to do an overhand shuffle control, which looks like this. You keep on overhand shuffling and bring the two back up each time, alright, until you get to the last card. So the two is this last card up here. You keep on dragging cards down until you put the two on top, alright, like that. Or if you wanted to, um, you can get a one card break. I'm not going to really teach this and then just deal down cards like this uh, and then do a, um, a one, like, a one card control to the top. See, the two's on top now. Um, that's a little bit fancier. I'm not going to teach that right now, but, um, you know, if you know a bottom card control, that works as well. Um, another good one is getting a um, break under the bottom card, putting down one, putting down the, picking it back up, putting it on top of the other one, and then um, giving it one and then two Well, keeping that two. Alright, that was really hard to follow, I know, but I'm not going to teach that. I'm just going to teach the overhand control. Once again, bottom card, you know, deal down packets just like this until you reach the very last card. You don't want to put down these two cards together. Otherwise, your top card will be the Ten of Clubs. See, if I put this down right now, Ten of Clubs is on top. I want to pull that Ten off and then put the Two on top of it, like this, all right? So I have the Two on top. Now you're going to do a Card Force. Now, um, I did a Slip Force, which looks like, whoops, uh, which looks like this, all right? It's a Top Retention Card Force. Um, but that might be a little bit advanced, so what you might do is um, the Cut, uh, cut Deeper Force. Um, you riffle down the cards, flip over a packet like this, and make sure you riffle past those cards. So I'll show you. I'm at the place where it's face down. You riffle past those and flip over again. Now the first face down card is, of course, going to be the top card, all right? The phone is ringing. Uh, very, very sad. Um, hold on. Let me see. Wait, is this, is this J-Dog? Hold on. You're in another video, my friend. What? You're in another video, my friend. Say hello. Oh, hi. Hola. So yeah, that's J Dog. So um, anyhow, um, I'm gonna get back to the tutorial, J Dog. So okay. okay. I'll see you later. Say yeah. goodbye. Bye. Okay, that was weird. So um, as you can see here, you have the two, um, which has been forced on them. All right. So um, you take the two. Well, you know, I'll just demonstrate cut deeper and like a s speedier motion. Tell me when to stop, but before I reach halfway. Stop. Alright, tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there. Alright, look. Then you show, bang, right there. Boom. Two spades. Um, so, that's just in action. You can do another force, whatever force you want. We do teep. We did actually do a more in-depth tutorial on Cut Deeper, um, which is in, um, probably it'll be in the corner again, and it'll also be in the video description. So, um, yeah, okay, once you force the two on them, um, you show them the two, flip back over on top of the deck, cut it into the deck, just like that. Then you spread over all the cards. Now we'll pretend, just do the pattern I did. You can say, okay, look, um, one card has changed. Don't say one card has changed blue, because that's kind of obvious. One card did already change blue. Um, so you don't really want to say that. Just say one card has changed, and you say, but wait, it's not in this deck. It was actually right here, and you reveal this as the two. Um, so... Uh, it's a really neat trick. It's really cool. It's really fun to perform just impromptu because there's no setup. Um, 
which is amazing. But, you know, I there is some very slight setup. I wouldn't really count that as setup. Because if you do, like, a call card control, um, like, you know, you can just do whatever you want. So, like, now, you know, I've got an 8 on top. Um, you know, so you can just do whatever controls you want to get to the top. Of course, that's a more advanced move, but then again, you have to con uh, you have to keep this card hidden, the blue card, um, because you can't show that. Um, but that's basically the trick, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, whoa, hiccups, and subscribe down below. And with that, I will see you all in the next video.